Hello everyone and welcome back to W13 Universe. I'm your host Jitch and we are from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania as we are just 13 days away from Wrestlemania. What we've got here is a man who is looking to join his partner Shawn Michaels as well as Bret Hart and Cody Rhodes in challenging Justin Gabriel for the Intercontinental Championship at WrestleMania. If Kevin Nash can win this matchup, kicking off tonight's Raw, he will be in the WrestleMania Intercontinental Championship ladder match. And of course, the winner of this match, whether it be Kevin Nash or his opponent tonight, the great Carly, uh, one thing that will stand uh, the same is uh, we will have a very large individual joining the uh, Wrestlemania ladder match. I think I need to fix my mic. It sounds like it's got too much bass in there, which is weird, because I remember... I used to have it, um... It used to sound like this. I don't know if this sounds any different, but to me it does. It's supposed to sound more like this. I think, yeah, this is how I prefer it. I don't actually remember anymore. <laughs> I've messed with this too many times. Is that here? Yeah, no, that's not quite right. Maybe it's more around here. I think, yeah, I think this is about right. I'm sorry, if my mic sounds really weird in this episode, I'm, I'm very sorry. I, I've i messed with it too many times. There's like a small... Uh, I don't even know what to call it. There's like a small pad bit <laughs> that you um you you like move around and that tells you like I don't know it's it, what is it actually that it's got it's got it's got low, high, and it's a color panel apparently. I'm sure there's some sound people that will someone who understands all that stuff that'll make more sense, but, um, I think I generally put a little too much bass on my voice from it, but I think that sounds better. Maybe? Anyway, the great Carly and, uh, Kevin Nash, let's focus on what's happening inside the ring. So here There's we go. The Two absolute giants. Did he just say, there's the bell and there's the bell? I feel like he just said the same thing twice. Kevin Nash is certainly outsized in this one-on-one -on -one match here tonight, but most recently in the Great Carly's singles uh, career, he lost a uh, one-on-one -on -one match to Daniel Bryan fairly quickly via submission, so I don't really know <clears throat> Sorry, I don't really know that I truly believe in the great Kali right now, and of course Jinder Mahal is nowhere to be seen, he's too busy focusing on the European Championship and his good buddy Heath Slater, he doesn't seem to have any interest in his brother the great Kali anymore This match is kind of going by fairly fast already, as uh, we've got two major matches coming your way here. Ooh, big left hook by Kevin Nash. I might not be able to finish this thought. If he can pull this off, this is insanity. Oh my god, the strength of Kevin Nash. He made that look like it was nothing, and this match is already over. So we now know that it will be Justin Gabriel defending the championship against the Clicks, Kevin Nash, and Shawn Michaels, as well as Bret Hart and Cody Rhodes. We've been told that there will be one more match, of course, next week here on Raw to determine the final entrant in that six-man ladder match for the Intercontinental Championship. Right now, I gotta say, I'm liking, I'm liking this man's odds. I feel like it's not gonna be too much of a struggle. He's not even gonna have to go that high up on the ladder to reach the championship hung above the ring. 
Well, it looks like all three members of the clique have found themselves in the, under the WrestleMania spotlight one way or another. X-Pac, of course, in the Cruiserweight Championship match, whilst both Nash and Michaels will be competing for the Intercontinental Championship. And I'm curious if they'll be able to main <clears throat> maintain their already crumbling alliance uh, in that one. As this night continues, though, up next we've got a one-on-one -on -one match between Layla and Tiny Shiny, in which the winner will face AJ Lee to determine who competes for the Divas Championship next Sunday at WrestleMania. Well, if you're a leader right now heading into WrestleMania, you've got to feel fairly confident in your Divas Championship reign. Of course, she's not having to compete in any matches on the road to WrestleMania. The Divas Champion gets to just kick back and watch this tournament unfold every week on Raw. And, of course, uh, that Divas Championship match is around the corner. I suppose <clears throat> there is the uh, ring rust situation that we so frequently concern about. Um, but on the other side of things, um, on the other side of things, um, when you stumble over a sentence, so you go to restart it and stumble over it in the exact same way again, that's cool. Um, what you see is what you're going to have this, oh, this song. Every time I hear it, I remember nails to a chalkboard. I really like Layla, but they did a dirty with this song. Um, yeah, so Lita at the moment, looking at WrestleMania, looking at defending the Divas Championship, she's already defeated everyone that's in the running for the Divas Championship. Now, okay, she hasn't defeated AJ Lee in singles competition, but she holds a victory over AJ Lee uh, back at uh, the Royal Rumble, I believe it was, in a triple threat match. Uh, it's just that she didn't pin... Oh, was that a fatal... I think it was a four-way, not a triple threat. Well, either way, she did not pin uh, AJ Lee in that match to retain the deepest chance. Well, it was a triple threat, not a four-way mistake. I was right the first time. <clears throat> and, um... In regards to, uh... Obviously, these two, they both had title shots almost back-to-back. -back. I believe it was uh, Tuesday, St. Valentine's Massacre, that we saw Layla get a one-on-one -on -one match with Vida, and uh, she got <clears throat> beat pretty quick, if I, if I recall correctly, whereas Tiny Shiny put up more of a challenge five days later, that Sunday, at Elimination Chamber, but she still wasn't able to defeat Lita, and obviously that leads us to um, WrestleMania now which is just 13 days away, just, you know, we got two Smackdowns, two Superstars, and one more Raw after tonight. And, uh, I don't know that anyone right now really feels primed and ready to dethrone Lita. I don't know that that's necessarily something that I, I believe is going to happen at this point. I, I think, uh, I stand by my opinion, though. I think AJ Lee is definitely the... Uh, most compelling case right now. If not, it's got to be Tiny Shiny as such a successful former uh, Divas, sorry, Women's Champion. She never held the Divas Championship. <clears throat> but the Divas Championship seems to really escape her. She can't seem to get her clutches on it. Whenever she's been put into contention for it, she always comes up short. Layla now heading up top. She gets her with the drop kick. That's great, isn't it? I like my voice is just never ready for when I uh, record these, so it, it, it's always just shattering inside. Oh, Layla, what's she gonna? Okay. <laughs> And there's the kick again. I like the little bouncy afterwards, you know. 
Bowser. I probably shouldn't have eaten before. <laughs> Start here recording. I probably should also stop drinking um, soda. I should just change up what I do when I'm recording a lot. Honestly, I should really get my shit together by now. It's been almost 11 years. Layla is really getting the best of Tiny Shiny here tonight. I don't know if maybe the multi-time women's champion is just dealing with some kind of uh, internal injuries. Perhaps she's just not 100% tonight. Perhaps she doesn't want to defeat Layla and deny her that WrestleMania dream. But of course, it's the rest of the thing. There's only one of these three women, these two and AJ Lee, are going to WrestleMania. the knees right into the back of Layla as Tiny Shiny goes in for a cover attempt but oh there's another kick out oh what a kick and I feel like the killer instinct of Tiny Shiny has uh, slowly built up in this match she really caught Layla across the jaw hard there you saw the way Layla's head twisted and now dropping her down Tiny Shiny going in for a cover. Is she going to be able to defeat Layla? Not yet, at the very least. With that kick to the midsection, Tiny Shiny looking for the 925. She just dropped her good friend Layla, center of the ring. And now going for a submission, as opposed to her normal pinfall attempt that would come after the 925. I gotta say, I'm uh, I'm a little bit intrigued by this decision here. Layla is not tapping out, so Tiny Shiny forced to let go of the hold. I'm sure that's for there by Layla. Layla has always been hopeful of winning a championship. She's never actually won one in her career, as far as I can remember. And uh, here comes the layout from Layla. Drops down Tiny Shiny cover attempt here on this multi-time women's champion. And Layla will be the one facing AJ Lee next week to determine the number one contender to the Divas Championship. As I said before, it felt like Tiny Shiny was a little bit off tonight. I couldn't really tell what was going on internally, whatever. But <clears throat> she definitely wasn't quite 100% tonight. I think that's almost safe to say. <clears throat> what is going on with my voice tonight? Oh my god. I hope I'm not becoming... Oh no, I'm not, I'm not getting sick again, am I? Oh, please god, no. I get that all the time. Okay, well, anyway, moving onwards. Uh, up next, I believe, we have, um, I was about to say one of the Beat the Clock matches, but I don't believe we do. Well, I guess stand by and we'll find out. Well, similar to what we saw this past Saturday on Superstars with Cody Rhodes facing off against Bret Hart. Of course, Mark Henry is not in the ladder match. He'll be facing John Cena 101 at WrestleMania in just under two weeks' time. But if Wade Barrett can defeat Mark Henry, we've been told he will jump the line. He will not have to compete in whatever next week's match for the sixth spot is. If Wade Barrett can defeat Mark Henry tonight, he will be added to the Intercontinental Championship ladder match at WrestleMania. But he has to defeat Mark Henry. And it does really leave me in a very mixed uh, and very perplexed situation, you know. Wade Barrett is a phenomenal talent. He's been pursuing the Intercontinental Championship for a very, very long time now, it feels. 
Uh, this could very well be a great moment tonight for Wade Barrett, but you can't help but, you know, let reality come crashing down, and you take one look at who Wade Barrett is up against tonight, and I think you kind of get a strong impression that it's going to take a lot out of Wade Barrett to come out with a win here tonight, especially when Mark Henry is so greatly looking forward to his one-on-one -on -one encounter with John Cena. And speaking of John Cena, he will be in our main event tonight against JBL. The Beat the Clock Challenge starts in the next match. We've been told that uh, The Rock will go one-on-one -on -one with one of the two contenders for the World Tag Team Championship, The Big Show, as uh, Stephanie McMahon wanted to ensure that both superstars uh, in the Beat the Clock Challenge had very tough opponents tonight. So we've been told that uh, she's picked the best of the best from each side that she feels will really fit the challenge and that, that you know, that difficulty in not only trying to win the match, but trying to uh, come out with a with a time this record. This is Mark Henry's first match back in the ring since suffering injuries at the hands of John Cena that were further agitated by the current Intercontinental Champion, Justin Gabriel. He's had plenty of time to recover, and he is back in full swing right now, and he is swinging those fists into the face of Wade Barrett, a man who has also come to the toe with John Cena in the past. <clears throat> I think that's the interesting thing about our next two matches, is uh, The Rock and JBL, neither, neither one of them could afford to lose any momentum on the way to their WWE Championship Clash next Sunday at WrestleMania. But not only do they need to win in the sense of beating the clock, they need to actually be able to uh, beat the other opponent's time. Now The Rock's on first, he's got the big show. And I'm very curious to see if he can defeat uh, the big show and win, you know, a set time for JBL. Because obviously if The Rock loses to the big show or if uh, time expires, etc., then, uh, well, there is nothing for JBL to try and beat there. JBL will, uh, in a sense, you know, all he's got to do is win against John Cena. <clears throat> I mean, I guess maybe you could base it off of who lasted the longest against their opponent if they both were to lose. I'll tell you one thing right now, I do not envy... Wade Barrett. Last year, he went into WrestleMania empty-handed and walked out European champion, defeating his three former allies, Drew McIntyre, Sheamus, and the retired William Regal. We look forward to Res WrestleMania this year, and uh, right now, Wade Barrett is not on it. So there is still time. But if he doesn't beat Mark Henry tonight, I believe Barrett is a front runner to be in a qualifier next week. <clears throat> it's just, as I mentioned before, it's simply put, uh, if he can defeat Mark Henry tonight, then he won't have to worry about next week. He'll be pushed forward and just given that championship opportunity at WrestleMania. But he's got to beat Mark Henry, and right now, I think he's kind of finding firsthand how hard that is to do. I don't like that random blink I just had on the screen because that to me says that there's something wrong with the video. I want to believe that uh, ever since I stopped using my old computer and I'm fully invested in this uh, laptop I've got right now and how much stronger and better it is uh, that I won't be dealing with those anymore because my god I had some real problems with that old one. But at the same time I, I, I get this bad feeling that uh, but, um, it's probably going to turn out that it's actually like my capture card or something. I have had this capture card for as long as I've had this computer, actually. I think I got them at the same time. So the capture card is at least coming on uh, eight years, I think. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> I just got jump scared by a lava lamp. <laughs> um, I have a lava lamp one right next to me, and um, I completely forgot. 
Oh, here comes John Cena. Well, I mean, I guess this was a, a given. We kind of knew John Cena wasn't going to stay away from this match. And oh no, Mark Henry, he has, he has completely shifted his focus. He has completely shifted his focus as he attacks the, the barricade. Not the barricade, the apron, sorry. Mark Henry is completely ignoring Wade Barrett right now. Cena actually doing Henry a favor by throwing him in there. I mean, realistically, if Henry loses tonight, there's there's no there's no thing that's lost for Henry. It is only Wade Barrett who has got something at stake here, and that something is uh, an Intercontinental Championship opportunity. Power bomb there by Mark Henry. And Henry. Oh, wow. Dropping Cena down. And now scooping up Wade Barrett. And there's the world's strongest slam. This from a world champion. Mark Henry goes for the cover. Referee. Distracted here by John Cena. That's, that would have been three for sure. Wayne Barrett dumped outside of the ring by Mark Henry. Uh oh. Mark Henry going straight for John C Cena with a great reversal there. Mark Henry. Oh boy. I think Cena may have crossed Mark Henry at the wrong time. Barrett, get in the ring, man. You can win this thing by count out. That's an Intercontinental Championship shot. You didn't even have to really earn. Barrett, I mean, I, I can't even blame him for not come, coming to the aid of John Cena. This is a this is a big win for Wade Barrett. Question is, is John Cena going to be okay for tonight's main event match? Mark Henry is beating... Oh, man, I think he just dropped him flat. On the, the corner of the steps there. Barrett, a bit of his ego here, and the referee hits a count of 10. That's it. I believe Wade Barrett is in the Intercontinental Championship ladder match. Thanks to Mark Henry simply getting himself counted out. And uh, Henry, I believe, has taken his brawl with Cena into the crowd. Those two are continuing to fight around the ring. There is definitely no one on the floor outside. Mark Henry and John Cena having a heated exchange with one another. And Barrett, I guess, really gaining from this count-out victory. He is in the Intercontinental Championship ladder. It is complete. We now know all six participants. What a way to qualify. Wade Barrett, everybody. He's claimed the final spot, I guess. I feel the way that fan with the yellow shirt looks. Same feeling. It's the Big Show, <laughs> and tonight he's facing off against The Rock as his tag team partner Chris Jericho stands by at ringside. This is a really tough opponent for The Rock. This man uh, single-handedly knocking out The Miz and R-Truth recently as he gets ready to perhaps win his second World Tag Team Championship, which I believe overall in his career would be his fourth tag team championship he's ever held. His first, of course, being with The Miz, much like Chris Jericho. You smell. You smell. Well, here he comes. It's the great one, as they call him. It's the Brahma Bull, as they call him. It's the Rock, as they also call him. The 
that's that's all I really had to say there. <laughs> I didn't have a whole lot more to add to that. But The Rock, he had a right. He's got to set the precedent. He's got to set back JBL. I just realised I did this the wrong way round, but that's okay. For anyone wondering what I mean by that, um, isn't it like normally the heel goes first? <laughs> And then, um, the face has got to, like, try to beat the time. I mean, obviously it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it might matter. You might be really upset. That might be the moment I lose some subscribers. Big Show goes straight in on the offense. I don't know that these two have faced off yet. I'm assuming this. Before. And the people's champ connects with a hard right. Doof beat Oh, God. This, this is, uh, oh, boy. Uh, Big Show having second thoughts there, and I gotta say that's probably a good move. He's got the crab in. That feels like a jab at Chris Jericho right there, looking in the Boston crab, aka the walls of Jericho. That uh, that would very much fit the Rock. You know what else fits the Rock? Love. Yes, a slow and drop. Uh, I love that kick though, Big Show. It's so unnecessary, but he does it from time to time. Back and forth between these two right from the beginning. And of course, you want to pay close attention to that timer in the corner as that's going to make a very big difference in tonight's Beat the Clock Challenge. Now remember what's at stake here for this Beat the Clock Challenge. The winner of the Beat the Clock Challenge gets next week, just six days for WrestleMania, they get that night off. But not only that, they get to choose what kind of a match, who they're up against, everything to do with next week's main event, the final Raw before WrestleMania, will be determined uh, by the winner of the Beat the Clock Challenge, who will set a match up for their WrestleMania opponent. And I can't imagine that either man, JBL nor The Rock, is going to be very merciful when it comes to uh, what they decide on. The whole phone is just frozen up really bad. So, uh, for all those of you, all those, all those Jitches phone fans in attendance, gonna have to uh, restart that because uh, I don't actually think I no I don't even really know what to do I mean I know what the next match is JBL up against uh, John Cena I hope John Cena is gonna be okay to compete against JBL tonight I mean uh, Mark Henry really did a number on John Cena and we don't know how much further that goes as the fight between those two went beyond the barricade into the backstage area I don't know if they're still fighting back there I don't know what's going on no one's a uh, got a clue but uh it's not looking good for John Cena ahead of tonight's big main event event against JBL which is a shame because uh you know had JBL I mean had John Cena defeated The Rock uh at St. Valentine's Massacre John Cena versus uh, JBL would very much be the match we're looking forward to at WrestleMania the WWE Championship match instead we got The Rock against JBL which I think definitely feels like the match a lot of more people wanted to see well, I feel like we've been here before, except that time it was The Rock on top, and he went with that cross body. Come as no surprise that The Rock is able to neutralize someone as dangerous as The Big Show. He is a very, very, very gifted individual, The Rock. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of him before, but uh, he's a pretty big deal. Very strong. Some of the worst commentary I've ever given. I do wonder if we'll see any kind of appearance from the Miz or our truth here tonight, as well as obviously, of course, if JBL will be able to keep himself out of this match. And vice versa in our main event, if uh, Mark Henry will make another appearance, if uh, The Rock will get involved in all sorts of stuff. Big spear there by the big show to The Rock. Rock taking advantage. 
Big Show seems to be just waiting on when The Rock comes in. Rock caught with that big boot. By that big seven foot man. And that is not enough to get the job done. And The Rock seems to have been caught by the throat with a choke slam. Cover attempt here on The Rock. Has he? Oh no. Out of the ring goes the Big Show, and I can only begin to imagine what it is that The Rock is looking to do here. Which is not a smart move when you've got a time limit that you need to set. But, you know, throwing someone over the ropes 40,000 times is definitely the way you want to handle your timed match. Five more. Five more episodes after this, and then I'm done with this game. That feels so good to be able to say. And a big slap to the chest of The Rock. I cannot even begin to imagine what it feels like to be slapped on the chest by a hand the size of The Big Show's. Rock is in serious trouble right now. The Big Show is absolutely dominating him. Oh, nice foot of a DDT there by The Rock. Now maybe don't throw Big Show over the rope. Maybe... Oh, what? Is The Rock? Suggesting he's going to hit Big Show with a WMD punch? No! <laughs> oh my god! That's got to be one of the craziest things I've ever seen! And the Big Show just about able to kick out. The Rock just hit Big Show with a choke slam! up to his feet but he's still dazed and big show oh god knockout punch no one no one has ever kicked out of this move WMD punch on the face of the rock and he kicks out my goodness he kicks out look at the face of the rock he has not given up he's just striking and big show the way he keeps just walking at him as if to say this doesn't matter. This isn't hurting me. Just absorbing the punishment. Smashing into the turnbuckle. And a roll up a Oh, wow, that was almost it. Surprise, Jericho seems to uh, have just kind of stepped back and... Wow! The Rock dragging Big Show to the center of the ring as he goes for a cover of that spine buster. I don't blame him. Wow. Talk about defiance. Big clothesline there by The Rock, though. And now The Rock is calling for The Rock bottom. Is he going to be able to get it on the Big Show? He got him. Rock bottom. That's got to be it. That's got to be it. That move has won The Rock so many matches. Cover attempt here. Jericho with a distraction. And Big Show with a big left hook to the gut. This is not a good space for The Rock to be in. Big Show coming in. Oh. How much more can The Rock take? My god! Showstopper, center of the ring. Cover attempt here by The Big Show. And The Rock once again kicks out. And the Boston crowd, you see the way The Rock... ...frustrated. Oh boy. And another choke slam by the Big Show. Jericho has been kicked from ringside. It's about damn time, too. The Rock isn't even going to make it to WrestleMania. What? He kicked out immediately. The Rock 
strike. You can really see the fatigue setting in, the slowness in each strike. Yeah, I mean, I, what do you do at this point? If you're the rock in this situation, what do you do? A series of unanswered shots. Good job getting to the ropes there. Big Show making it to the ropes, but he is hot now. It looks like the rock has finally managed to break through that thick layer of defense of the Big Show. The man can really just absorb punishment all night long. Cover attempt here. And oh my god, that was close. Into the headlock. The Rock has the headlock. The Rock has the headlock. And the neck breaker. What is The Rock going to do now? Another spine buster to the big show. I don't feel like Big Show's ever been picked up and thrown around this much before. Cover attempt here by The Rock. We have about 10 minutes on the clock and Big Show is still kicking out. And another one. The second Rock bottom in this match. That's got to be it. Cover attempt here on The Big Show. Shoulders are down. Rock gets the victory. This time has been set at 10 minutes and 18 seconds. I don't know that JBL can beat John Cena in 10 minutes and 18 seconds. That is a rare sign of respect between two guys that laid it all on the line. They absolutely did here tonight. That was a brutal battle, but The Rock is victorious as we move towards our main event. It is JBL and John Cena. Can JBL beat the, the record set by The Rock, 10 minutes and 18 seconds, 9.42 remaining on the clock. That's going to be a tough one uh, to beat, especially when you're up against John Cena. said before 10 minutes 18 seconds that's what JBL has to defeat here tonight if he wants to be the one getting next week off and pick <clears throat> picking the rocks opponent just six days before WrestleMania and there's no saying you know I'm saying opponent right now it could be opponents plural it is completely down to the winner of the beat the clock challenge to show as much mercy as they choose to or not to give but I can't imagine either of these two going easy on the other truth be told there he comes John Cena we saw him go through hell with Mark Henry just moments ago in a brutal brawl but he's still doing it changed his jorts and everything I just hope that whatever happened backstage between him and Mark Henry, he managed to either finish Henry off for the night, or uh, someone is keeping Henry at bay, because I can't imagine Mark Henry having the restraint to stay away from this match here tonight. There is so much bad blood, so much animosity between John Cena and Mark Henry right now, that I feel like it's going to probably carry over to this match. question is will the rock be uh, making any kind of an appearance i asked this earlier it's still very much a question on my mind evidently which is why i'm asking it again and i feel like this is going to be a hard hitting fight this was very much close to becoming our wrestlemania main event back at saint valentine's massacre it was between the rock and john cena at the time they didn't know which champion they were going to be facing but i think they both deep down were hoping that they would get a one-on-one -on -one match with the WWE Champion JBL. He's wronged a lot of guys in his time here on Raw. And he hasn't exactly been here for very long. And I cannot believe that John Cena has taken control of the WWE Champion this early on. When you consider that this man literally just got into a fight with Mark Henry. Not even, you know, wait, 12 minutes ago? 
We don't know what neutralized that situation. We don't know how that came to an end. We don't know what kind of damage has been done to John Cena here tonight. Squeezing down on the head. Narrowly avoids the attack there. JBL going for a big boot to Cena. Too smart to get hit with that one. I'll tell you, what a great match between Big Show and The Rock we just saw in the second to last Raw of this season. That's right, we are just one Raw away from the end of season three. The buggiest season you'll have ever seen thus far. Interesting to see who becomes the alpha male early in the contest. Oh, mama! Did you hear how his leg connected? I tell you, it's been all Cena from the opening bell here. But then there's been a lot to prove for John Cena. This man has made it abundantly clear. He said, once I beat Mark Henry, I'm coming for the WWE or World Heavyweight Championship. It doesn't matter where I end up from the draft. I am coming for championship gold. Fair warning for The Rock, JBL, Triple H, or Antonio Cesaro. Wow, what a move there by JBL. I tell you, this guy's very agile for someone his size and shape. You sometimes don't expect it from JBL, but hey, when this guy goes, he can really go. And so far, we are two and a half minutes down in this match. That means that JBL has only got just over seven and a half minutes to win this match and so far he is having a very hard time even keeping control of John Cena. Cena and JBL clubbing into the back. He goes for a cover attempt, and that's only natural, you know. You may not know this, but over on the big screen, we actually have the time ticking away for JBL. JBL as he goes in for another cover attempt here on John Cena. He's wasting absolutely no time trying to beat John Cena just as quick and as desperately as possible. And I feel like that desperation setting in is actually going to be more of a negative effect on the WWE Champion. The longer he spends being this desperate to win this early on, the harder this match is going to become for him because uh, every time, well, it's, it's kind of a mixed one. You know, I, I do truly believe every time you make your opponent kick out, you are forcing them to exert so much energy that they may not even have in them. What a chop to the chest there by JBL as he goes in for another cover attempt. Still unable to get the job done on John Cena, now lifting up this former WWE Champion for a fallaway slam. come as no surprise that Cena is able to hang in there as well as he is. In the corner it goes JBL. Oh, well, JBL able to reverse John Cena once more. He turns Cena. Oh boy. Cena getting caught up. That big power bomb by JBL. A career ending move. And Cena kicks out at once. And oh wow. What's JBL looking to do here? Using the steel steps to his advantage. JBL taking a little bit too long to celebrate there. Didn't even seem to care that John Cena had entered the ring. And it looks like John Cena going to be matching The Rock facially here tonight. <laughs> Maybe he's going to make sure JBL does too. Pouring blood all over the face of JBL as he swings those big strikes. And once again, that big boot from JBL. He has hit that so many times. Oh, 
Special hold applied here by John Cena once again. Can he defeat JBL with this one? No. No, he cannot. I feel like JBL is the kind of man that is very hard to make tap out. He's Texas tough. It's all business. What a nasty elbow. Nice dodge there. Big strikes coming in hard there from John Cena. We have got just over uh, three minutes for JBL to defeat this former WWE Champion. And he is definitely looking to be in a very controlling situation. But the question is, can he defeat John Cena? in just under 10 minutes or even just over 10 minutes as long as he doesn't go too many seconds over 10 minutes he might still win this and there's the neck breaker on John Cena JBL goes in for the cover I gotta say John Cena he's really put up a fight but you can see that the brawl the brawl with Mark Henry has really brought him down a level JBL measuring John Cena, and there's that clip. Oh, the clothesline reversed. John Cena knows he's only got to wear him out for another three minutes. And he fights out of it. He breaks the hold. Knee lift. Huge shot to the midsection. Cena scooping JBL up. He's got the, ch the W champion on his shoulders. Attitude adjustment. JBL has not suffered a loss since coming here to Raw and becoming WWE champion, and he still doesn't there. Well, I mean, he, he suffered losses. I meant he has not been pinned or submitted. He's lost matches vicariously through other people. DDT, oh my god, do you see the face of John Cena? The quick kick. Not today, too fast. Would you listen to this crap? I'll tell you, whatever Cena did to Mark Henry, he is nowhere to be seen, thankfully. This has been a, a clear cut situation. Fish drop in the face of JBL, who has got just under two minutes to try and defeat John Cena, which is not looking very promising right now. I don't think JBL can do it. I really don't. I think if this carries on, he's going to hurt John Cena pretty badly, but I don't think he can actually beat John Cena right now. Not in that amount of time. <clears throat> And you think John Cena isn't even 100% right now. But he's also, ooh, he's also not experienced firsthand that clothesline from hell. He managed to avoid it the first time. I think JBL clearly going for it a second time. Can he get it this time? Yes, he does. And there's still one minute of, to take The Rock's time. But thanks to the injuries from Mark Henry and a brutal beating from the WWE Champion JBL. It is JBL who wins the Beat the Clock Challenge. What a huge win this was. This WWE Champion, JB, no, 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 no. Who's no. come out here, Michael? <laughs> and Stephanie McMahon has decided, no, screw it. My dad was right, you're great. <laughs> I'm joking, of course. This, this, ignore this. She's come out to discuss uh, the Rock Smash <laughs> from um, next week's Raw. Well, I hate to imagine what JBL is going to do to The Rock next week on Raw as he gets a night off six days ahead of WrestleMania. He is going to put The Rock through hell. I can believe that. Well, we don't know what that's going to be, but we will find out next week on Raw, the final Raw of Season 3 and the final Raw before WrestleMania. You know, the WrestleMania's just around the corner, the draft's just around the corner. Things are getting real spicy here in the WWE. And JBL is at the forefront of that. A successful WWE Champion. I'll see you guys this Friday on SmackDown.